Hey, my name is Param. I'm a fourth degree black belt in Ishindu Karate and a third degree black belt in Okinawan Kumudo. I've been training for 15 years and today we're going to be talking about kicks. So kicks are an important aspect about almost every single martial art and there's a very good reason for that. Number one reason is the reach. As you can see, when I throw a punch, the reach is not a lot. However, when I throw a kick, my reach is maximized. The second reason is that the thigh muscle is the largest muscle in the human body and also the most powerful. If you want to improve your kicks from this, this, here are five exercises to do. Exercise number one, it's called the leg raises. The number one problem that I see when people kick is that they cannot get their knee high enough. So we're going to practice that. What we're going to do is going to keep our guard up in the ready position and bring our knee up as high as possible and then put it back. The key to this is to keep your back straight and hold the position when your knees high and then bring it back. Of course, you do it with both your legs. Ten repetitions each time. The second part about leg raises is to keep your legs straight and then bring them straight up and then down. Over here also you need to keep back straight and leg straight. Do both legs, 10 reps, each leg. Exercise number two is for the yokogiri, which is also called the side kick. Looks like this. For this what you're going to do is you're going to take a chair for support and swing your, swing your leg up sideways, like this. This is going to help you stretch all these muscles and help you achieve a higher yogi. Of course, you do it with both sides, 10 reps each. Also try to keep your body straight as possible. Exercise number two is a practice for a kick called Mikazuki Keri. This kick is known as the inside to outside or the outside to inside. Let me show you. Guard position, you bring your leg up from the inside straight as possible, make a round and then bring it back. Like so. And do it from the other side as well. This exercise will also help you for your kakupagiri, which is the axe kick. So you bring it in from the inside and then bring your leg down, fast heel first onto the opponent's face. Looks like this. Exercise number four is called the side kick clutch. It's for the side kick which is also known as the yokogiri in Japanese. To practice this, you bring your knee up as high as possible and you're going to try to touch your knee to the opposite shoulder. I'm going to have my hands, the right one extended like this and the left one on my chest which makes sure that I have the optimum balance. So, I'm going to stand sideways, bring it up and down. Uh, 
Two more. You can do this. This kick works like an elastic band in your glutes, muscle over here tighten. And when needed, you can snap and extend it out. Fifth exercise combines the front kick, the side kick, and the roundhouse kick. For this exercise, you're going to need the support of the chair. You're going to bring your knee up and extend into a front kick. Then without touching the ground, you're going to side kick clutch, extend, bring it back, and turn back, extend into a mawashi kick. The goal is to do this slowly to train your muscles. Now, these exercises will take your kick to the next level.